My name is Matthew Gordon. Uh, I have a varying degree of interests. Um, I'm a welder. I'm a potter. Um, sculpting with uh, clay, with steel, or designing things in steel, structures and spans, and um, they're, all, they're all part of my interest. They're all part of what I do. I like tools since I was a little kid. Uh, you know, old wooden tools, the old crank drills. Um, and that led me to blacksmithing when I was like 13 or 14. Um, eventually, in high school, I moved on to ceramics, a lot of pottery. Um, had a blast with it, and then I went off to art school. When I got out of art school, I came here for welding engineering. Um, my mother works here. It was it's close to my home. I, I, was, I was expecting not to like it, and uh, I loved everything about the program. It, it does a lot with math and drawings and design, as well as they throw you in leathers out in the shop and, and you're sitting out there sweating with everybody else, throwing sparks. So, it's the short version of how I got here. I hated math for a long time, until I got to calculus. And then when everything started making sense and like clicking together, I was like, oh, this is really cool. The Fibonacci sequence is a math sequence that shows up everywhere. It shows up in nature, it shows up in art and design. Um, if you ever look at Roman or Greek architecture, and the columns and the curves and the patterns that are set up to hold massive amounts of stone and weight. And yet you're looking at it and I'm like, there's not much here to actually hold it up. And yet they're here how many years later? Look at Da Vinci's work and all of his drawings and designs. Follow the Fibonacci sequence. His Vitruvian man, the man with four legs and four arms scribed inside a circle with all of the, the angles going out. That's supposed to be like the, the perfect proportions. It was based off of a golden ratio and it's I mean that's me being a nerd here but I love it that's why it's on my skin it's it's applicable to so much and the, the math itself behind the Fibonacci sequence is one of the simplest you only have to understand addition and you've got the whole thing Everything that works really has real aesthetic beauty to it. And so when I see a student's design, that if it doesn't strike me as being aesthetically beautiful, right off the bat, you know, I kind of suspect that it's also not going to be functionally, you know, beautiful. It's not going to serve its purpose real well. It's like the best solutions are also aesthetically really pleasing. Um, and, you know, that's one thing that we can learn from nature. Uh, when we look around us, you know, it seems like everything in nature that really works well is also uh, really beautiful. The designers who can do well in the future, I think, are going to be able to, to be comfortable in a variety of different environments. Certain things are going to be constantly changing, but it's also going to be an opportunity for designers to find new ways to kind of branch out and, and find new avenues to, to create design. For everyone that likes to design, you, you have to grab that Crayola. You gotta grab that pencil. You gotta get a piece of paper and just draw, draw, draw. It's a beautiful thing.